Welcome and thanks for joining us in this video tutorial where we will take you in the next few minutes on the different steps that you need to take to create and configure your new business process management suite cartridge in OpenShift. First of all, you need to sign up for an account in OpenShift, which will take you only a few seconds. And once you do that, you can log into your account, which will take you to the application screen. If you have any application running, you will be able to see it here, or as it is our case today, there is no application in your account, you can create your first application by clicking here. This will take you to this screen where you can see all types of different cartridges and quick starts that you can use to speed up the creation of your new application. You can search for the type of cartridge or quick start that you want to use or go directly to the expat section where you will find the JBoss Business Process Management Suite cartridge and quick start. Once you get to the quick start, there are three main parameters that you need to input here. The first one is the name that you're going to give to your new application. We are going to call it My VPM, and this will give us a URL where you will be able to find your application running. Second, you need to select your gear size. We strongly recommend that you run your business process management suite cartridge in a medium gear. Finally, you could select scaling. For the time being, we will select non-scaling. And once we click the Create Application button, this will start creating our new application in OpenShift. After a few moments, OpenShift will have created your new application. And you will be taken to this screen where we will select that we don't want to change code at this moment. This is a very important screen because you have here all the different logins and passwords of all the users that the application has pre-configured. It is very important that you note this down so you later can enter your application and start configuring it. You can click on this URL and this will take you to your new application. This is the welcome screen to Business Process Management Suite. From here you can directly go to Business Central where you will find all the different tools in order to monitor, simulate, execute and monitor your business processes and business rules, and also to the Dash Builder, where you will be able to create beautiful dashboards to monitor your process data. By clicking here in Business Central, we can log into the system with the credentials that we asked you to note down before. And by doing that, we will go into the main page of Red Hat JBoss Business Process Management Suite. Let me now give you a quick overlook of the main aspects of the new JBoss BPM Suite 6. When we think about business processes, the first thing that comes to mind is process modeling. That's why we have included a web-based process modeling tool which supports BPM N2. So from here, you can start modeling the processes that the organization is going to run, and you can pull these them later to the product so they are executed. So here you can find all the different components that you need to use in order to model your business processes in BPMN2. And we have also included here a form definition and data structure component. So you can define data structures that support your forms and beautiful forms that you can later use in order to configure all the different information that you will need to manage once you are executing your processes. Last but not least, we have also included a way of simple ways of using and defining business rules such as uh, guided decision tables or guided rules here, so you can incorporate intelligence into your business processes by managing business rules. Business Process Management Suite also includes an advanced functionality to create beautiful dashboards. Dashboards are created in a very simple way just by dragging and dropping components into this interface. And from here, you will be able to create graphical indicators that give you detailed access to the data that you have running in your processes. And actually, just by clicking on any of the segments to drill down into that data to get additional information. Well, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you feel ready now to start using your new Business Process Management Suite cartridge on OpenShift and look forward to welcome you in future tutorials. Thanks for watching.